In this video, we're gonna use Ariana and Evan's Summer Fig and a blade I just homed up myself that I got from AliExpress for 10 bucks. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and today we're gonna to use Ariana and Evan's Summer Fig. This is a sweet scent, but also get some green in it. Um, there's some notes that round out the sweet scent. Um, you definitely get the sweet figs and bergamot. I'll put the notes right there for you. But I get a lot of green also sort of on the backside. It is a nice scent uh, for me. Scent strength is about six, a uh, little over medium. The cost of this, if you're in the shaving shop club, which I recommend, is under four bucks. Uh, if you get it from, say, Maggard or West Coast or the razor company, it's a little over four bucks. So still a good value considering that uh, this soap has some great ingredients in it. It's got the goat's milk, it's got the sh uh, shea butter, mango butter. It's got all the chupacabra oils, the unicorn milk, the dragon tallow, the super blue <laughs> emu. It's got the stuff that I like uh, in a soap. And we'll talk a little bit about that. We're also gonna be using a blade that I got from AliExpress and honed myself. This was 10 bucks. This is sort of like, I believe it's the gold dollar 59 uh, cheapo. It wasn't shave ready when it arrived. I honed it up myself, finished it on the Zuku. So we'll be trying that. So today we're under 24 hours growth, as you can see there, but you can still see we're working with some growth. I have some things I need to do. So I'm shaving a little bit early. Hope everyone is having a magnificent Monday morning so far. We're using the uh, P PAA pre-shave cube as always. It's not necessary, but I like to use it. Just helps a little bit, I think. Um, this has a lot of great ingredients in it. If you haven't seen my video where I compare this to the Razor Rock uh, pre-shave, check it out. This is really a nice pre-shave and it's a great value, I think at, um, what is it, $6.95 or something like that. By the way, these products that I talk about, for your benefit, I uh, link them below. Um, and I try to link the companies. I've only recently started really trying to link the products. Sometimes they're affiliate links, which means if it's an affiliate link, I mark it and I do get a small percentage of that, particularly on Amazon. Um, so you might get 10 cents or something and I roll that back into the channel. But I want to make very clear, even though I do use affiliate links sometimes, it's completely up to you. Um, if you want to buy something, buy it. If you don't, don't. Uh, don't buy something just because you think it's going to make me a dime um, because I'm not in it for that. But I will roll out, roll that, that sort of stuff back into the channel. So if you see anything that says affiliate link, that just means I have a, a link. And anybody can participate in that, by the way. I don't think a lot of people know you can become an Amazon affiliate. And um, if you post something, that's why you'll see these articles. Like you'll see top 10 DE razors and you'll notice they're all on Amazon. That is a clue to you that um, if they're all off Amazon, that they're all affiliate links, that maybe they want you to buy them for that reason. Um, I'm not doing it for that reason. However, it does help the channel. So there's a number of ways that folks help the channel. Some participate on Patreon, some contribute occasionally, some send gear. And I am really appreciative of all those things because I certainly cannot do it <laughs> all myself making this daily content and sometimes two videos a day. Ooh, what a soap this is. This produces a creamy lather. Let me roll in a shot for you. You can't always see it on cam, but this Ariana and Evans um, soap, and this is the old formula, by the way, and it is outstanding. The Kaizen, even better, incrementally, I think. You know how I feel about formulas. I don't think there's any need to go and rebuy all the soaps you already own in a new formula. That's just me. This stuff, you don't need anything more than this. It's nice if you, if you can get it, but this stuff is terrific. And Sneaky Pete's soap making skills has reached a level where you just know the quality is always going to be there. The question is going to be, what do you think about the scent? So the other question is going to be today, <laughs> what do we think about my edge on this razor? Because who knows how that's going to go, but this is straight razor shave number 550, by the way. Did I put the ingredients up for you? I don't remember if I did. I'll go ahead and roll them right here for you so you can see some of the goodness that's in this soap. These are 
Even the old versions of these are very good quality soap. Very slick, very good performance. Okay, let's get going and hope we don't get our ear like we did yesterday. So far, not, not too bad on the edge. Feeling nice. But we won't really know until we get to our neck. That's usually what tells the tale. And I had to work quite a bit on this razor um, to get it shavable because it was it was difficult to work with. I really had to I had to take this way down to the 320 just to get it even and and so on and so forth. Um, so it took a lot of work to make it shavable, but so far it's feeling pretty doggone good. And so I hope we're gonna have another honing <laughs> success story today. I've been getting a lot of uh, joy out of honing my own edges and, and especially these edges that are just quite frankly not shavable. Yesterday I got myself on the ear. If you recall, um, are you using the Wade and Butcher Gentleman's Use? And I got myself on that ear. And so that's a reminder when you're straight razor shaving, always be on your game and be cognizant where the tip of that blade is, which is not always easy to do, frankly. Because um, sometimes you can't see very well, you know. <laughs> but uh, that just gives us a reminder, be careful. You know, you have to, a lot more care is required with these blades than is with your typical DE. And uh, everybody learns that lesson. Everybody cuts themselves some. And that's sort of a rite of passage, I believe, <laughs> for straight razor shaving. But if you're careful, it will be minimal. All right, so far this edge is performing very well. I am happy uh, with my result <laughs> once again. I don't know if I'm having some beginner's luck or, or what, or maybe maybe honing some of these razors wasn't as difficult as I thought. Um, these This is a $10 razor. Now I see these selling for, I see some folks selling these for uh, the, the gold dollar version, which looks very similar to this, almost identical for, you know, upwards of 70 bucks. So keep in mind when you're buying these, you're really paying for the labor for somebody to hone these. The, the razor itself is very inexpensive. This one, like I said, 10 bucks from AliExpress. And the other gold dollars that you see a lot of times are sometimes three bucks. So there's not much in the razor itself. All you're paying for the honing. And so if you're learning to honing, you can just go get some and hone them yourself. You know, unless you're just wanting to buy one for your first razor, there's no need, no real need to pay 70 bucks for these um, a better investment would be for 70 bucks that's one stone you know and if you're going to buy multiples of these um, you really started getting into the other stones so if you can learn to hone and again I'm not claiming to be an expert I am not I'm not an expert in that only thing that I'm an expert in is knowing what my face will tolerate in terms of shaving and knowing how it responds to certain things I'm not even an expert at shaving, but I do know, I generally know how far I can take it in terms of pushing things. One of the things I want to mention is, and I mention this a lot, I've been, I bowl lather primarily because I don't want to load off the soap. I don't want to get water in my soap. I don't want the brush in my soap. I don't want any contaminants in my soap. I don't want to be drying it out and having stuff find its way in my soap, particles, debris. But another benefit of uh, lathering, and I've mentioned this a few times lately, is you're not scrubbing your face because some people blame razors for irritation when it's actually the brush. I, I haven't spoken about this brush yet, have I? I love this brush. Every time I use Ariane and Evans, I'm gonna use this brush. This is a brush from Ariane and Evans. It's terrific. And honestly, it's one of my favorite brushes. I love that long handle, especially for a bowl leather. I know a lot of people don't like bowl lathering because it's kind of a pain. You got to get the soap out and put it in the bowl. But for me, it works well. And, uh, you know, it's the way I roll and it keeps my soaps in great condition. 
Again, this is straight razor shave number 50. I'm still a baby when it comes to straight razor shaving, meaning I have not been doing it a long time. And so I'm hoping that you're learning with me. I know I've gotten a lot of comments and emails where people are uh, telling me they were inspired by my journey and that makes me feel great. Thank you so much. Comment below if you are one of those people and you were taking on straight razor shaving because you've seen some of us um, doing it. I think we're in the midst of a resurgence both with honing and straight razor shaving because a lot of people are, are doing it and they're keeping this sort of timeless way of shaving alive. And I'm very excited to do my part on that. It's been a lot of fun. I avoided it for years simply because honestly, I didn't want to go down the rabbit hole that is honing and, and so on and so forth. But now that I am doing it, now that I'm here, I'm glad I did it because I'm finding it very, very enjoyable, but make no mistake. Uh, if you get into honing the initial setup, there is some expense involved. So keep that in mind. But once you have it, once you have your stones, now it's just effort and taking the time to do it. And I enjoy doing that kind of stuff. So it's been very enjoyable for me and I get a real sense of accomplishment. Each time that I uh, hone something, it's got a smooth blade like this one. Because this one, as they come, they are not sharp at all. You you can't even get, uh, at least the, this one, it wouldn't even cut hair on my arm. So you know that is nowhere near shave ready. And now it's shaving. So I'm happy with it. I think I could work on this edge and make it a little bit better, refine it some, but it is not rough. And that's the key for me. If it was rough, I would have switched to another gold dollar that I have on standby. Um, but it's not, fortunately. And so I'm real happy with the edge. Um, all right. There we go. There's our second pass. The soap is phenomenal. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. You can't go wrong with Sneaky Pete's. Uh, and when I say Sneaky Pete, I mean Pete Charcalis of uh, the Shaving Shop and Club and Ariana and Evans. You can't go wrong with it. It's fantastic. The shop was recently closed for a few days around the 4th of July holiday. It opened up uh, Sunday night, the 4th of July, once again. And so they are selling stuff again. He's He's in the process of stocking everything back up. So they may not have a tremendous around, amount of... Uh, stock right now but rest assured he's he's stocking up and i'm sure he's got a lot of stuff coming uh the kaizen base is phenomenal this is not it but i'm telling you right now this stuff here this is no joke this is the last formula and quite honestly this stuff here is as good if not better than most on the market um we had a lot of reformulations um a while back and Pete did not reformulate when everyone else did. He really didn't need to because this stuff here is, you can see the job that it's doing. And uh, I just love it. And honestly, I'm going to continue buying this stuff. The The only issue I've had is, you know, a little bit slow fulfillment, uh, but they were working on that too over the July 4th holiday. He was installing a new software system and restocking and training. And so I expect it to get better. I know Pete's always working to improve. And so I expect that fulfillment to get better. And I made an order Sunday night, so we'll see. You know I'm gonna say it. It does not matter. See, here's one of the things about me. I'm friends with Pete, but I will tell you, just like I'll tell Pete, if there's work to be done, I'm gonna tell him. And he wants to know. Now, he probably gets tired of me saying it a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I will definitely let him know. And I will definitely let you know. I like this. Uh, this is un an unusual sweet scent, this um, summer fig. But it's one that uh, I'm really enjoying. I didn't buy the splash because sometimes I don't know. I don't enjoy every single scent 
that uh, Pete produces, but I enjoy a lot of them. I didn't know how I would um, enjoy this one, and it turns out I'm enjoying it, so maybe I'll follow up and get the splash later. That's what I do a lot of times. And keep in mind that Pete, um, he continues to make things, and he tries to keep his customers happy. Um, in other words, he's not just making a run of soap and then walking away. If you don't get it in the first run, there are going to be subsequent runs. Um, and so I really like that. And I think the Shaving Shop Club at twelve ninety five dollars or whatever it is for six months is a tremendous value. You do get a better price on the products. You do get access to some products that aren't sold elsewhere. And for me, it's a great value. And uh, I'm glad. In fact, mine just renewed the other day. And it's one of those things I'm, I'm happy to... I'm happy to be a member. I think it's a great value. So if you're not a member of the club, you know, check it out if you want to be. It's definitely worth it from, from my perspective, but you know, every consumer has to make their own choices. Again, I'm not here to sell you things. I'm here to tell you about the things that I'm using. And what I do find the club to be a good value and well worth the money. Very nice. I've done a good job with this edge. Once again, I'm very happy <laughs> with myself. I just get a lot of pride from uh, doing it myself. You just, you feel accomplished when you do things yourself, you know. But you can get these. You can buy these already honed. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think Strike Gold, I think, sells them for Strike Gold Shave, has the W59, which this looks a lot like, um, for like $67 or something. Don't quote me on that. So if you don't hone and you just want one because you like the looks of the blade or something and you don't want to um, spend it, you can get one. But... My recommendation personally would be before you spend close to $70 on one of these, check vintage razors. You can get some decent vintage razors sometimes for that. Check like John's Shave Shop and some other places on Etsy. You can get some really decent blades for the same cost of um, some, some of these really inexpensive Blades that are sold, um, like I said, this one's close to 70 bucks on Strike, strike Gold. And uh, it, that might be worth it to you, but I would recommend check some of the vintage offerings like at John Shave Shop um, because I've bought some great blades. Uh, I've bought two blades from John's and one of them was under the price of, of one of these W59 type. This is not a W59, but... W59 type razors, much, much better quality razor. So keep that in mind. But if you want one of these, certainly go to Strike Gold. Um, you can get the actual gold dollar version and I'm sure it'll have a great edge on it. But um, check the vintages too, because you can get some really nice blades for around the same price. So uh, always trying to bring value to you. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into a post. Stay tuned. All right, we're back with our usual suspect, the Lancaster Tau. And I did see where Andre said he was going to have another drop soon on these. And I will link his um, shop below again in the link section. Um, I put all the links. I put the channels I mentioned and the products I mentioned or at least the vendors below. Uh, I love this thing, as you well know. Let's get going with our... This is Thayer's. Um, I just have it in a spray bottle. I will put a link to these bottles because um, some people have asked about them. Amazon link below too if you're interested. Totally up to you. Um, and also the Thayer's, if you're interested in that. I love the cucumber. It's my favorite. All right, so let's talk about uh, the shave today, which was fantastic. Oriana and Evans, summer fig. Great sweet scent with, to my nose, some green in there. It's very, very nice. Keeper. For me, we use this blade, which is like a gold dollar 
Uh, I think it's W59, 10 bucks. Very inexpensive, hone myself. If you enjoy shaving other uh, people's edges, you're gonna enjoy shaving off your own a thousand times more. So my advice, if you feel like having a, a um, or kicking up your hobby level a little bit, get you some stones and start working those edges yourself and you're gonna be really happy uh, when you get it right because I've, I've been really enjoying that. We're gonna finish off with a little Shaving Shop Club Tobacco Oud. You know, Pete, this is one soap he didn't put tobacco in the notes. <laughs> so we're gonna follow up with tobacco in uh, tribute to Sneaky Pete. All right, here we go. I can't wait to see how quickly I get my order this time around. And I will be crying if it's like over a week. I'm just saying right now. Sneaky Pete, if you're still watching. Oh, man. Man, these aftershaves, I don't know if he still has them. These are really nice. I think these were originally made by Maria Arman of Through the Fire, Fine Crap. Through the Fire, Fine Crap. She makes good stuff. All right. Thanks, everyone, for uh, coming and enjoying the shave with me today. I can't thank you enough. Oh, don't forget we used the uh, Oriana and Evans brush shoe. This is one of my absolute favorite brushes. I love it. Thanks again. I am your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.